The closer we get to the launch in September, the more we find out about Grand Theft Auto V and Trevor. I really don't Do you want me to get my dick out again? No, we're fine, thanks. But the one thing we're still in the dark about is the multiplayer mode known as Grand Theft Auto Online. Here's that one clip of it. And then there's Grand Theft Auto Online. But that's not going to keep us from dreaming about Grand Theft Auto V's multiplayer mode. What should be in it and how should it work? These are the things that could make it the best open world multiplayer yet. GTA 4's multiplayer was lots of fun, but without any customization or progression, there wasn't really a great deal of incentive to come back to it. Apart from griefing Mike. We want proper persistent characters with a system for leveling up and an in-game economy. Something similar to systems seen in other Rockstar games like Max Payne 3 and Red Dead Redemption, but taken to the proverbial next level. Completing missions or objectives could earn you cash to spend on customizing your character's look and vehicles. We already know there'll be plenty of customization options in the single player game. Let's have even more in multiplayer. When I'm playing with friends, I want each of our characters to be distinctively different. In that one clip of GTA Online, which I warn you, you will be seeing a lot of in this video, you saw the player character standing in an apartment. Fingers crossed, each player gets an apartment as their customizable multiplayer hub where they can store their clothes and cars. Complete a tricky multiplayer challenge, get cool stuff for your hub. Imagine PlayStation Home, but with a purpose and everyone has rocket launchers. Get us out of here! Roger that! Free roam multiplayer is loads of fun. I mean, where else can you and a friend drive a scooter into a river? Well, apart from on special occasions. I mean, scooters are expensive. From now on, it's up to us to... But we'd love more stuff to do. GTA 5 is going to be stuffed with mini-games such as cycling, golf, base jumping, and range shooting. Let's have all of these available in multiplayer for you and your friends to enjoy when they get bored of blowing each other up with rocket launchers. Nothing says truce like a relaxing game of tennis. And if you lose, just strafe the court with a fighter jet. It was on the line, you dick! Shot him, eagle. At the back From what we've seen so far, Grand Theft Auto V has a truckload of vehicles. Boats, helicopters, planes, jet skis, trucks. It's like Roman Abramovich's garage up in here. Cousin, it is your cousin. I said Roman Abramovich. So how about we get to use all of these vehicles in multiplayer? GTA 4's vehicles spawned in multiplayer are on an hourly rotation and some weren't available at all. Come on, Rockstar, you're making us do a mandatory 8 gig install. How about making every vehicle available in multiplayer in return? Playing on your own is all well and good, but we reckon Rockstar had it right with Max Payne 3. Playing in crews is what it's all about. We already know Max Payne's crews are going to carry over into GTA 5, but we want plenty of reasons making it worth our while. Bonus XP for crews is a good start, but how about crew-specific missions or feuds with other crews having real consequences, such as the chance to eliminate rival crews for good? If that's too extreme, we'd love to see some sort of crew showdown system with online stat tracking to see how you stack up against your rivals. Come on, Rockstar, you've got Social Club. Give us more reasons to use it. Not all multiplayer has to be competitive. As fun as it is to endlessly run your friends over in multiplayer, co-op missions would be even more fun. How about something like Red Dead Redemption's Outlaws to the End co-op missions in which you and your friends are given a multi-stage task to take on with a big reward at the end? It would make sense to base them on the heists from the single player game given that they're already built for three characters. But they could be anything. Take down a street racing ring, kidnap a movie star, hijack a super yacht. The possibilities are endless. Once a mission is done, you and your crew could get a big XP boost as well as cool rewards, like a random loot drop in an MMO, such as rare items of clothing or unique car or weapon customization parts. Ultimate bragging rights. New in town, I'm making friends, all right? One of the best things about Grand Theft Auto's multiplayer is just how many bonkers things happen by chance. And sure, they make for great stories, but you'd be surprised how few people believe me when I tell them I barrel rolled a car over a helicopter. So I show them this. Um, go for the barrel roll. Yes! Look at that, perfect landing. That's the beauty of video proof. So how about a brag clip system to share our best GTA moments? Like the time James fell out of a helicopter and landed in a swimming pool. People could even vote on their favorites with prizes for the most ridiculous clips. It'd be like You've Been Framed or America's Funniest Home Videos, only with ever so slightly more death. <laughs> 
So there we go, six ways Rockstar could make Grand Theft Auto Online the perfect open world multiplayer mode. What would you like to see in Grand Theft Auto 5 multiplayer? How are you and your friends going to play? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more from Outside Xbox.